Good morning students, we will start with the today's lecture. Uh, we have started with uh, frequency response analysis. Already we have seen the brief introduction to frequency response analysis and correlation between time and frequency response also we have seen, right? Uh, resonant peak, resonant frequency, bandwidth, right? G uh, gain crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency, gain margin, phase margin, frequency response specifications, all those things we have studied and board plots uh, board plots of standard factors we have seen right board plots of the standard factors and how to draw, draw the board plot uh, of the of the any given open loop transfer function that also we have solved two numericals based on that the next uh, today we will be seeing uh, just what is the brief idea we will get what is all pass and minimum pass systems minimum phase system sorry all pass and minimum phase systems the next we will see the calculation of transfer function from the magnitude plot we have the magnitude plot board plot consists of both magnitude plot as well as phase plot so from magnitude plot how to get the transfer function we'll see it right so that heading actually in the syllabus it is experimental determination of transfer function that is nothing but the calculation of transfer function from magnitude plot and we'll solve numericals based on this right okay uh, in detail it is not required to understand what is actually these all pass systems and minimum phase right all pass and minimum phase systems we will try to understand these two things right how these uh, all pass systems or minimum phase systems are decided based on the location of pole zero pattern in the s plane where they are situated whether the poles are situated on left of of s plane or right of of s plane similarly the zeros whether they are situated on left or right right based on the pole zero pattern where they are situated in the s plane the transfer function systems can be classified into three types one is non minimum phase systems also called as cf there are several names non minimum phase systems simply we call it as or non minimum phase transfer functions or non minimum phase function that simply right so let us call it as non minimum phase systems then second one is minimum phase system and all pass system right so what actually what is the difference between what is the difference in these three systems non non minimum phase systems minimum phase systems and all pass systems you can just uh, by looking at these diagrams you will clearly understand by looking at these diagrams right first let me take uh, from last this is figure one figure two figure let me come from figure three first i will define all pass system yes in all pass systems you can observe here in all pass systems the location of poles and zeros are anti-symmetric about the imaginary axis this is the imaginary axis right this is the imaginary axis j omega the poles and zeros are anti-symmetric about the imaginary axis. Anti-symmetric means suppose the pole is located at minus 1 by t, the zero corresponding at the location on the, this is located on the left of of s plane at minus 1 by t. On right of of s plane at the same distance from the imaginary axis, a zero is located. So plus 1 by t, right? So the alpha systems are those in which the poles and zeros are anti-symmetric about the imaginary axis. I hope you got it, right? So those systems we call it as all pass systems. You can, for example, let me take this. G of J omega is equal to 1 minus J omega t divided by 1 plus J omega t. If I write it in uh, S domain, so it is replace S by J omega. 1 plus 1 minus S t into 1 plus S t, right? So if I solve the roots, I'll be getting S is equal to if 0. For numerator, equate this to 0. So I'll be getting S equal to plus 1 by t. Equate the denominator to 0, you'll get the pole that is s equal to minus 1 by t you can observe here right is it fine so this is g of s so in frequency domain replace s by j omega so this is in frequency domain so these kind of systems having the open loop transfer function we call them as all pass systems because the poles and zeros are anti-symmetric about the imaginary axis i hope you came to know what is all pass system next we will see minimum phase systems what are the minimum phase systems just you can observe this diagram here this is the real axis sigma and this is imaginary axis j omega you can observe the poles are located at minus 1 by t1 and minus t by 2 and uh, one of the zero is located at minus 1 by t then how to define the minimum phase systems the systems in which all the poles and zeros lie in the left half of s plane all the poles and zeros lie in the left half of s plane such systems we call it as minimum phase systems that's all right just the name is given if all the poles and zeros lie in the left half of the s plane we call such type of systems as minimum phase systems let me take the example here this is the minimum phase system open loop transfer function they are called g2 of j omega simply g of j omega also you can call g2 of j omega is equal to 1 plus j omega t divided by 1 plus j 
omega t1 into 1 plus j omega 2. So this is an example of minimum phase system. Just find out the roots. Equate this to 0 numerator. So it will give me 0 located at minus 1 by t. Equate these two to 0 denominator. They will give the poles minus 1 by t1 and minus t by 2. Right. So this is the example of minimum phase systems. Just I will define once again. Minimum phase systems are those in which all the poles and zeros lie in the left of a phase plane. That's all. That's all right. The next uh, third system that is non minimum phase system. What is non minimum phase systems? Yes, I will define it here. You can see the open loop transfer function of uh, non minimum phase system g1 of j omega is equal to 1 minus j omega t divided by 1 plus, right? Look at the poles and zeros of this transfer function. One of the zero will come here, poles will be coming here. Then, how to define this non minimum phase system, right? The system in which, right, all the poles, the poles should lie in the compulsory, all the poles should lie in the left of the left half of the s plane but none of the poles should lie in the right half of the s plane all the poles non non minimum phase systems are those in which all the poles lie in the left half of the s plane but what about zeros the zeros can be either located in the left half of the s plane or right half of the s plane doesn't matter right the zeros can be located either in the left half of the s plane or right half of the s plane but the condition is all the poles should lie in the left half of the s plane none of the poles should be in the right half of the s plane Location of zero may be in the left of our explain or right, it doesn't matter. Such systems we call it as non minimum phase systems. I hope you are getting uh, one more thing, one, one more important thing is zero at least minimum one of the zero should lie in the right half of the explain, right? At least minimum if one zero, right? Remaining if there are three zeros, one zero should be compulsorily, remaining two zero can be on left or all the three can be on right, right? If all the zeros and poles lie in the left, then it will be minimum phase system, right? So I hope you are getting. So non minimum phase system, the systems in which all the poles lie in the left half of the S plane and at least one or more zeros will be on the right half of the S plane. At least, at least one or more zeros will be in the right half of the S plane, right? Or else the remaining zeros may be on the left half of S. Such systems we call it as non minimum phase system. I hope you came to know the wordings alpha system, minimum phase system and non minimum phase system. We have the transfer function for all, right? This is the transfer function, open loop transfer function for non minimum phase system. Then this is the open loop transfer function for minimum phase system. And this is the open loop transfer function for uh, alpha system. Just example, right? You can observe here non minimum phase system. If I if I want to get this transfer, it is multiplication of this and this. If I multiply 1 plus j omega t 1 plus, so I'll be getting this. So non minimum phase system is multiplication of the open loop transfer function of minimum phase system into alpha system. So this is G1 of G1 of J omega. This is non minimum phase system. It is equal to G2 of J omega minimum phase system G2 of J omega and uh, alpha system. It is G of J omega. So the product of the open loop transfer function of minimum phase system and alpha system will give me the non minimum phase system. That's all. Please keep in mind, right? If we understand the differences, that is sufficient for us. Yes, we can. We, once we have the open open loop transfer function, I can draw the magnitude plot as well as phase plot, right? I can draw the. I know. We know how to draw the magnitude plot and phase plot, right? We will construct magnitude plot table, phase plot table, right? And then we will go for drawing the magnitude plot and phase plot in the semi log sheet that we know. If I observe the phase plot for all these three open loop transfer functions, it will be like this. Just they have shown the magnitude plot. Sorry, phase plot. So log of omega along x axis, and this is phi in degrees in degrees so for minimum phase function if it is drawn the curve will be like this this is the phase plot it intersects at minus 90 degree and for all pass function the curve is like this it intersects at minus 180 then for non minimum phase you can observe here so non minimum phase functions have uh, uh, amount of larger amount of phase delay so these uh, non minimum phase functions are not desired because they are having larger amount of phase delay. You can observe here, it is the product of minimum phase and I'll pass. If you take the product of this, I will get this, right? So the amount of phase delay will be more in case of non minimum phase. If you understand this much, that is sufficient. So we don't prefer non minimum phase functions as they are involving more amount of phase delay as compared to alpha and minimum phase. So we will be concentrating only on minimum phase systems and alpha systems. The locations of roots are here. Alpha system and minimum phase system, right? If any doubts, you can unmute yourself and talk to me so that I can clarify your doubts.
I hope uh, you understood the difference between three types of system, non-minimum phase, minimum phase and alpha systems. Based on location of pole zero pattern, these are classified. Next, next topic, calculation of transfer function from magnitude plot. Our experimental determination of transfer function in a heading can be changed, right? So how to calculate the transfer function from magnitude plot? So magnitude plot is a part of the board plot, right? Board plot consists of magnitude plot as well as phase plot both this will form the board plot right so we'll so uh, suppose let us uh, we are having the magnitude plot how to calculate the transfer function that is our intention here the reverse process if i have the transfer function i can draw the magnitude plot as well as phase plot if i have magnitude plot how to get a transfer function from magnitude plot that is reverse we will see the steps are to decide the transfer function we have to observe the following points first starting slope of the magnitude plot represents poles are zero set the origin poles and zero set origin means it is one by s if one of the pole is lying at the origin if there are two poles lying at the origin i will get the factor as one by s square right if the initial slope of the magnitude plot is minus 20 db per decade then it is one by s because there is only one pole lying at the origin so s fine if there are two poles means minus 40 db per decade i am getting for example the slope initial slope then that is the factor is 1 by s square because two poles are lying at the origin suppose the slope is plus 20 db per decade i will get the factor as s because that is zero lying at the origin if the, it is plus 40 db per decade s square so the initial slope of the magnitude plot represents either the poles are zeros lying at the origin i hope you are getting this if any doubts please you can ask then second point suppose Next, this is about the initial slope, right? So the same thing has been told, right? This is this first term. If starting slope is minus 20 dB, one pole at origin. If it is minus 40 dB per decade, two poles at origin. If it is zero dB per decade, means there is no pole at the origin. If it is plus 20 dB per decade, one zero at the origin. If it is plus 40, plus 40 dB per decade, two zeros at the origin. There are two zeros and so on, it continues. I hope you're getting first point. Then second, we will try to calculate there are several factors right the transfer function consists of several factors system gain k right uh, poles and zeros at origin simple poles and zeros right so we have decided uh, already the starting slope right and we have calculated the poles and zeros lying at origin next second point is decide the value of k the system gain by observing the shift in magnitude plot at omega equal to 1 20 log k right we know how to calculate the mag 20 log k equal to that much amount of shift if 0 db is the reference line means either it can be shift may be above or below right 20 log k it is a straight line right if 0 db reference line will shift or either it will come down based on the right based on that shift 20 log k equal to if it is upward so plus if it is downward it is minus something 20 log k equal to plus dash decibels or plus or minus dash decibels if the shift is downwards right so we can calculate the value of k next third point is identify corner frequencies this is very important so the corner frequencies will come into picture whenever i have simple pole or simple zero one plus t1 s form right so if i identify corner frequencies it is as good as we are finding either the simple pole or simple zero this we'll see then combining all these steps three that is take the product of all the factors and form the transfer function this is how we have to get the transfer function from magnitude but these are the steps we will follow these steps and we will try to find out the transfer function from the magnitude plot. We will take a numerical example. Yes, this is the example. Okay, this is the magnitude plot. This is magnitude plot. Is it fine? Okay. Okay, magnitude plot is given. Yeah, no need to draw it once again. Let me you make use of this only. Yes, determine the transfer function of a system whose asymptotic gain plot is given by gain plot is nothing but magnitude plot magnitude also called as gain plot no problem right so it is asked to find a transfer function what is transfer function of the given system you can observe here what step by step we will go right so first we will identify corner frequencies corner frequencies are those uh, they, they will identify between the lower frequency area and higher frequency area right lower frequency region and higher frequency region right those frequencies we call it as corner frequencies and the corner another one more important point about corner frequencies is 
the corner frequencies are those at which the change of slope takes place you can observe here this is one corner frequency you hear earlier the slope is 0 db per decade then the slope changes to minus 20 db per day at this frequency so that omega equal to 1 they have told m so let me call this as first corner frequency so i am using the same diagram right so let me call it as first corner frequency omega c1 because slope is changing here from 0 db per decade to minus 20 db per decade so this is corner frequency next second corner frequency you can observe the slope is minus 20 db per decade from here to here then it is 0 db per decade this is 0 db per decade if the slope is like this don't say only 0 db it is 0 db per decade 0 decibels per decade this is the slope so once again slope is changing at this frequency so let let me call this frequency as omega c2 omega c2 here omega c1 is equal to omega that is equal to 1 omega equal to 1 omega c2 is nothing but it is equal to omega 2 what they have given the notation right omega c2 equal to omega 2 what is that frequency they have not given then first we are identifying corner frequencies and we are marking in the diagram so omega 3 you can observe here uh, the slope is 0 db per decade then it is changing to plus 20 db at this frequency so let us call this frequency third corner frequency omega c3 so let me call it as omega c3 here omega c3 is equal to omega 3 right then once again you can observe here the slope from here to here is plus 20 db and once again it is changing to 0 db per decade so this is the fourth corner frequency omega c4 omega c4 equal to 1000 they are given 1000 radians per second so we have identified corner frequencies right so mark we have marked what we have done mark all the let me give the step mark all the corner frequencies all the corner frequencies mark all the in the magnitude plot that we have done already and once again i am repeating corner frequencies are those those frequencies at which the change of slope takes place you can observe the slope is changing from 0 db per decade to minus 20 db per decade here from at this corner frequency minus 20 to 0 at this corner frequency 0 to plus 20 at this corner frequency plus 20 to 0 i hope you are getting right so we have marked all the corner frequencies in the magnitude plot so we will go step by step according to which first since observe the magnitude plot so my we have marked all the current frequencies first step is over next second so we will starting slope we will try to identify the starting slope so, so what is what is the starting slope or initial slope let me write it here starting slope or initial slope of magnitude plot if any doubts please unmute yourself and talk to me so that i can clarify right so first we'll try to find out starting slope or initial slope of magnet which will give us poles and zeros lying at our region which will give us poles or zeros lying at origin lying at origin so observe here the initial slope is one set it is a straight line of slope so and so passing through right passing through omega equal to 1 at the reference line 0 db reference line at omega equal to 1 so omega equal to 1 is here this is omega equal to 1 this is the reference line so observe the slope is 0 db only there is no see here if the slope is like this maybe to plus 20 or something like this but the slope is 0 db per decade so the initial slope is 0 db right so if it is 0 db means uh, there are no what is the conclusion the slope is 0 slope is 0 slope is 0 so what is the meaning of this suppose the slope is plus 20 db here it is not there then I, it is meaning that there is one sim one zero lying at origin if it is minus 20 db per decade one pole lying at origin since the slope is zero so no poles and zeros so no poles are zeros lying at origin lying at origin so since slope is zero, initial slope is zero so no poles are zeros lying at origin it means i don't have any factors such as s or one by s s means in the numerator s s is square one by s one by s square so no, such poles are not there in the transfer function that is one information what we got right then third we will try to find out k 
find the system gain k find k okay what is this uh, you can observe here at omega equal to 1 at omega equal to 1 here it is right at omega equal to 1 it is there is no shift it is equal to 0 db line if i look at uh, omega equal to 1 it is 0 db line so how to find out the uh, uh, magnitude 20 log k the shift is given by 20 log k if k is equal to 2 20 log 2 you used to take if k is 6 20 log 6 you have taken right so 20 log k it is equal to how much is there any shift at omega equal to 1 observe this is omega equal to 1 this is omega equal to 1 so observe it is 0 db so equate it to 0 db and calculate k right so how to calculate so 0 by 20 log k is equal to so take this 20 this side so 0 by 20 is 0 next base is 10 here so 10 to the power of 0 so k is equal to 10 to the power of 0 so that is nothing but 1 so k is equal to 1 system gain k is 1 right so i hope you are getting there is no shift because log 1 is 0 right k is log 1 is 0 so there is no shift this 0 db itself is the reference line then fourth next identify corner frequencies we have marked already already corner frequencies we have identified already because first step only you have done mark all the corner frequencies so let me write it identify corner frequencies we'll do one by one yes we will take how many yes four corner frequencies are there omega c1 omega c2 omega c3 omega c4 yes we have marked all the corner frequencies right so instead of taking this as first step you can write mark all the corners yes we have done it already no problem we have identified so we will take the first corner frequency omega c1 at omega c1 so four step let me write it over here once again identify sorry identify corner frequencies okay first corner frequency omega c1 equal to omega that is equal to 1 omega c1 right and what is omega equal to 1 let me write it here omega c1 equal to omega that is equal to 1 radians per second they are given observe here right and once again i'll show you omega c1 equal to omega equal to 1 that is right then observe what is the slope change in slope at omega c1 at omega equal to omega c1 what is change in slope oh sorry at omega equal to omega c1 what is change in slope let me write change in slope change in slope so observe here so after minus before after slope after omega c1 the slope is minus 20 db per decade before this corner frequency it is 0 db per decade here it is 0 db per decade 0 db don't read this magnitude 0 db right this slope is 0 db per decade so take the difference change in slope is the slope after corner frequency minus the slope before corner frequency so minus 20 db per decade minus 0 db per decade so let me write it minus 20 db per decade minus 0 db per decade no need to write but initially we have to understand right what is the difference we are taking so minus 20 minus 0 so what i will be getting slope minus 20 db per decade okay if the slope is uh, minus 20 db per decade what is the factor can you anyone tell the slope is corner frequencies will come into picture whenever there are simple poles or zeros right so if the slope contribution is minus 20 db per decade then what is the factor can anyone tell what is the factor whether it is simple pole or simple zero simple pole yes it is simple pole simple pole one simple pole will contribute minus 20 db per decade if it is giving minus 40 means two simple poles if it is plus 20 means simple zero right so since the slope here is minus 20 db per decade so we are getting the factor as simple pole so we are getting simple because minus 20 db per decade means one simple pole so we will write down the factor 1 divided by 1 plus t1s this is the general uh, 
general representation of simple pool 1 divided by 1 plus t1 s what is t1 s what is t1 we will try to find out what is t1 t1 is equal to 1 by omega c1 that is corner frequency 1 by what is omega c1 it is 1 1 by 1 that is 1 so we will substitute so simple pool is equal to simple pool is equal to 1 divided substitute t1 is 1 here so 1 divided by 1 plus this this is one of the factor we have found out one factor of the transfer function similarly we have to find out other then next okay we'll split up okay next at second next next this is at omega c1 next at uh, next corner frequency omega c2 so we'll observe the plot here omega c1 over and we have found out the uh, factor then at omega equal to omega c2 what is omega 2 omega c2 is nothing but omega 2 but what is the value of omega 2 they have not given so at omega c2 equal to omega but what is this they have not given let us check it observe here observe the diagram here it is one radians right here omega c1 it is one radians so what is the slope here minus 20 db per decade from here to here it is one decade from here to here it is one decade right so from omega c1 to omega c2 it is one decade if it is one decade means here at omega c1 is one radians so what should be omega c2 one decade means 10 omega c2 should be 10 because the slope is minus 20 db per decade so here it is 1 means it should be 10 decade 1 to 10 is 1 decade so omega c2 is 10 so omega c2 omega equal to 10 because because slope is slope is minus 20 db per decade minus here you can observe slope is minus 20 db per decade from here to here minus 20 db per decade i hope you are getting why it is 10 radians per second this is 10 radians per second let me write it 10 radians per second sorry rad i hope you got this how it is because once again i'll tell you from omega c1 to omega c2 it is one decade one decade means if it is one means it has to be 10 if it is 10 here it should be 100 i hope you are getting right so i hope you got it then change in slope let us find out change in slope change in slope what is change in slope at omega c2 this is omega c2 after minus before after is 0 db per decade before is minus 20 db per decade so 0 minus of minus 20 so 0 db per decade minus of 0 db per decade minus open bracket minus 20 db per decade right this minus this so minus 20 db per decade so 0 minus into minus plus so it is plus 20 db per decade i am getting can anyone tell what is the factor whether it is simple pole or simple zero here simple zero sir. yes it is contributing plus 20 db means it is simple zero so it is simple zero so simple zero so here already i used t1 so let me write it as 1 plus t2s let me take it in numerator simple zero means don't take 1 divided by so it is in the numerator don't take 1 divided by 1 plus t because simple zero means it should come in the numerator 1 plus t2 yes so what is t2 you will find out t2 is equal to 1 by omega c2 so 1 by what is omega c2 it is 10 1 by 10 right 1 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.1 so let us substitute simple zero what is the simple zero we got it simple zero is equal to 1 plus what is t2 t2 is 0.1 so 0.1 s right i hope you got, got this so second we have found out this simple zero next we will go to the third corner frequency at omega c3 it is that omega c3 we will see you can observe here omega c3 they have given it as omega 3 so what is omega 3 we don't know they have not given right so let me check it what is that so it is equal to omega 3 what is that we have to find out observe here now we are here and here it is 1000 they have given omega c4 it is 1000 radians per second here but you can observe here the slope is plus 20 db per decade from here to here omega c3 to omega c4 is one decade here it is 1000 they have given so if it is 1000 here what should be omega c3 it is one decade what should be omega c3 can anyone tell what what should be omega c3 it is one decade 
Omega C4 is 1000. What should be Omega C3? Can anyone tell? It is one decade, no? Please interact. 100, 100 right? Yes, good. Yes, if it is 100 multiplied by 10, you are getting 1000, right? I hope you are getting Omega C3 is 10. Please respond so that I will also uh, be very happy. So, Omega C3 is 100. Right? Because Omega C3 to Omega C4 is 1 decade. Omega C4 is 1 decade. So, Omega C4 is 1000. Omega C4 is 1000 radians per second. So, Omega C3 will be 100. I hope you are getting just I have written here. Right? They have given this. So, Omega C3 we can calculate. Next, what is change in slope? We will find out. Change in slope. Observe at omega c3. At omega c3, after slope is plus 20 dB per decade. My before slope is 0 dB per decade. So, you will subtract after uh, the slope after omega c3 minus the slope before omega c3. So, plus 20 dB minus 0 dB. Plus 20 dB per decade minus 0 dB per decade. So, finally, I will be getting plus 20 dB per decade. If it is plus 20 dB per decade means the factor is simple 0. The factor is simple 0. And one more thing. So, already I used T1 is over, T2 is over. Next, I will be using T3. 1 plus T3s. Corresponding to this omega C3, let me call it as uh, T3. 1 plus T3s because it is simple 0. So, we will find out what is T3. T3 is equal to 1 by omega C3. So, 1 by what is omega C3? It is 100. So, it is 0 0.01. 0 0.01 is 1 by 100, right? So, simple 0 is equal to 1 plus what is T3? 0 0.01. Yes. So, this is another factor. Next last corner frequency at omega C4. They have given omega C4. It is 1000. Omega C4 equal to omega. That is equal to 1000 radians per second. 1000 radians per second they have given. Right. Then what is change in slope? We will find out. Change in slope. Okay. We will come here to this diagram. So, after slope is, this is 0 dB per decade here, 0 dB per decade because the slope is 0 dB per decade after minus previous slope is plus 20. So, 0 minus 20, 0 minus of plus 20, right? 0 minus 20, 0 dB per decade, 0 dB per decade minus 20, 20 dB per decade, 20 dB per decade. So, I am getting minus 20 dB per decade. So, while calculating change in slope, you should be very careful. So, this contribution of minus 20 dB per decade is by simple pole, not by simple 0. It is simple pole. So, once again, simple pole will come. Simple pole. So, 1 divided by 1 plus. So, corresponding to this omega C4, let me call it as T4. T4S. So, calculate T4. 1 by 1000. Right. Point. 001 right 1000 yes is correct yes simple pole is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus what is t4 t4 is 0 0.001 yes right we have found out all the factors so we have to multiply all the factors and get the transfer function i hope i don't have the space let me accommodate here only so let me change the ink color Okay, the transfer function is, we will try to write. So, first let me write poles and zeros here, right. So, I will put numerator and denominator. So, put above you write numerator, below you write denominator. So, I have this simple pole here, let me write it at the last, right. This one, 1 divided by, so let me take this factor. So, 1 plus 0.001s, S. this is over. So, this is covered, over. Next, we will take this. It will come in the numerator. 1 plus 0.01s. 
so this is also over next we'll go to the previous slide this we will take this will come in the numerator 1 plus 0.1 s so this i'll take mark 1 plus 0.1 s 1 plus you can write it here or anywhere. no no problem yes over next we'll take this 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus s it will come in the denominator 1 plus s so this is also over four right four factors are covered next these two are simple zeros these two are simple poles next what about uh, initial slope all those things we'll see here you can see k is 1 so no need to write k equal to 1 once again if you want to write you can write 1 here no k is 1 only if by default if it is nothing is there 1 so no need to write what about uh, poles and zeros here we have seen no poles and zeros lying at origin no poles and zeros means so this is the final transfer function so this is the transfer function right i hope you are getting any doubts shall we move to the next problem right yes is it clear is it clear yes yes okay fine we will move to the next numerical so the same problem has been given here uh, in the textbook they have solved and finally they are getting the same transfer function you can observe here yes they have got the transfer function here the same thing whatever i got right the same thing next we'll move to the next problem yes we'll take up this already it is 10 40 okay i'll try to finish this problem numerical yes for the plot shown in the shown below determine the transfer function yes yes always we are familiar with the scale to db per decade but db per octave we are not familiar so but they are given db per octave so let me replace this one thing you remember 6 db per octave is nothing but plus 20 db per decade so if it is plus 40 means 6 into 2 so 12 db per so let me replace this 12 db per octave so let me write it as 12 db per means 40 db per decade 40 db per decade let me replace it is it fine or else let me draw it once again let me draw it once again okay uh, let 32 db reference line is there this one so this is 32 db so this is decibels this is magnitude plot right this is magnitude plot given right gain plot or magnitude plot okay uh, let me take up here two points are there here point 0.5 let me take up point 0.5 here and one here so point 0.5 1.0 then 5 will take it here then this is log of omega okay uh, from 1 we will draw a line here from 5 same thing So this is let me draw this magnitude plot. This is 0 dB per decade. Next, you can observe from 0.5, this and this, they are almost matching, right? So let us keep that same thing. 0.5, let me stop here, I think. Right? Is it fine? So I'll join it. So here the slope is, let me write it here, they have shown 6 dB per octave. 6 dB per octave means 20 dB per decade. <coughs> 20 dB per decade. <coughs> okay, another slope is uh, minus 40 dB, sorry, plus 40 per dB per decade. So here I have to take the slope like this. From here the slope should change. Don't continue here like this, just bend it. So this is <coughs> 40 dB per decade. 40 db per decade this low right <coughs> corresponding to this let me take up here right so okay this one this is once again minus 20 minus 6 db means minus 20 minus 20 db per decade Okay, now magnitude plot is ready, right? So we have converted octave to db per decade and written this magnitude plot, right? 
So next, first let us identify the corner frequencies as per our steps. So you can see here from my from plus 40 to plus 20 means this is one corner frequency. So this let me call it as omega C1. Next corner frequency, the slope is changing from plus 20 dB per decade to 0 dB per this is 0 dB per decade. So this is another corner frequency. Let me mark it here. So omega C2. Then from 0 dB per decade, it is changing to minus. So this is third corner frequency. We have identified all the corner frequencies. Omega C3. I hope you are understanding, right? So identify all the corner frequencies that we have done. Identify all the corner frequencies that we have done. Next, a starting slope. So first we'll take so starting slope. This will not take it as first step. Just identify all the current frequencies that we have done. The next starting slope or initial slope. Initial slope or starting slope. Yes, what is the initial slope or starting slope? It is a straight line of slope minus 40 dB per decade. This minus 40 dB per decade passing through omega equal to 1. Omega equal to 1 is here, right? But it is passing, right? So, so I have to extend this. So let me extend this line, right? So let me corner frequencies, I will just extend it so that you will, okay, no problem. So it is a straight line of slope minus initial slope is minus 40 dB per decade, right? So it is a straight line of slope minus 40 dB per decade passing through omega equal to 1 at some reference line. So we will extend this. So let me extend this. So I will extend it here. Let me take some other color of extension. So I will extend this. You can observe here, right? I am extending because this minus 40 dB per decade should intersect at omega equal to 1. So now it is intersecting here means this is reference line. So this is the reference line new reference line right we will find out what is the right how much from here how from 32 db how much it has shifted right so what is initial slope or starting it is a straight line of slope minus 40 db per decade passing through passing through omega equal to 1 here omega equal to 1 right omega equal to 1 at the at this reference line this is the reference line now this is the reference line reference i hope you are getting if any doubts please ask now only right so initial slope is minus 40 db per decade so let me change so initial slope is slope is equal to what initial slope slope means initial slope it is equal to how much minus 40 db per decade so how many poles and how many sorry minus 40 means it is poles how many poles poles are lying at origin how many poles are lying at origin can anyone tell how many poles are lying at or minus because slope is minus 40 db per decade two poles two poles are lying at origin two poles means here minus 20 into 2 minus 20 into 2 is nothing but minus 40 right so two poles are lying at origin so the factor what is the factor i am getting if the two poles are factor is factor is equal to 1 by s square yes because two poles are lying at origin right if two poles are lying at the slope contribution initial slope is minus 40 db per decade minus 20 into 2 right i hope you are getting then second determine k or find k determine or find k so this here it is a little bit cumbers here because the reference line has shifted so we'll find this letter step two we'll take up letter we'll do it later let me write it we'll do it later we'll do it later we have to do it anyhow but we'll do it later okay third step identify corner frequencies identify corner frequencies okay one by one at omega which one corner frequency at omega c1 equal to 0.5 radians per second at omega equal to omega c1 that is equal to 0.5 radians per second what is change in slope 
change in slope. You can observe here what omega equal to omega 0.5. What is change in slope? You can observe here at this frequency. After 0.5 is plus 20 dB per decade. Here it is minus 40. So 20 dB per decade minus 40 dB per decade. 20 minus 40. 20 dB per decade minus 40 dB per decade. So I am getting minus 20 dB per decade. So it should be either simple pole or zero. Since it is minus 20, one simple pole is there. Simple pole. 1 divided by 1 plus T1s. So what is T1? T1 is equal to 1 by omega C1. That is equal to 1 by 0.5. 1 by 0.5 is 1 by 2. So it is 2 radians per second, right? 1 by 2, 2. So simple pole is simple pole is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus T1 is 2. T1 is to show 2s. This is simple pole. Next, at omega equal to omega C2. What is that omega C2? You will see. Omega C2 is 1 radians per second. So, change in slope. So, this is easy. So, I am going for this before finding the value of k, right? So 1 radians per second after with this here after slope is 0 dB per decade before is 20 dB per decade. So 0 minus 20 dB per decade. 0 dB per decade minus 20 dB per decade. So minus 20 dB per decade. Once again it is simple pole only. Simple pole. It is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus T2s because already I used T1. So T2 is equal to 1 by omega C2. So 1 by 1. So it is 1 only. So substitute finally simple pole is 1 divided by 1 plus 1s. 1s don't no need to write 1s. Simply s. This is another factor. Next third at omega equal to omega C3. What is that corner frequency? Third one omega c3 it is 5 not 50 it is 5 5.0 5 right it is 5 here right 5.0 5 so what is change in slope we will find out it is equal to after it is minus 20 before it is 0 db minus 20 minus 0 minus 20 db per decade minus 0 db per decade so once again it is minus 20. So minus 20 dB per decade it is once again simple pole only. 1 divided by 1 plus T3s. So what is T3? It is equal to 1 by omega C3. So 1 by 5. Right? So what is 1 by 5? 1 divided by 5. It is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 right so simple pole is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus t3 is 0 0.5 0 0.5 s the third factor is over okay all the corner frequencies are covered omega c1 omega c2 omega c3 next we'll take up this determine or find k we'll take up the second step now right so determine k or find k we'll do it here find k excuse me sir yes tell me T3 value is 0 0.2, sir. T3 value is 0.2. Ah, yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. 1 by 5, point two. Yes, I have written 0.5. Thank you very much, madam. Thank you. Point 0.2, sorry. I have written 0.5. No, yes, point. Thank you. Yes, it is 0.2. Next, we will we'll go for second step. We have left here. Find K, right? So, observe here. Find K means you can observe here. So, let me start from here. Uh, Omega C2. See here. How to find out K I am telling because this is the reference line has changed. So this much shift has to be done from here to here. This much shift. Right. So what is this? I don't know. How many days we have to calculate this. Right. So 20 log K equal to this much. So we have to identify. So how to find out? I am telling this. I am telling that at Omega equal to Omega C2 it is 1 radians per second. Just take it here. 1 radians per second. At this 
what is the slope what is the magnitude it is 32 db at omega c2 so we will make use of straight line equation so straight line equation in order to because all are straight lines only right slope of it is a straight line of slope minus so straight line equation will make use so i will write y is equal to mx plus c so here y is your magnitude m is slope so y is your magnitude let me write it magnitude and m is your slope x is nothing but log of omega frequencies log of omega because x axis is log of something right log of omega frequency plus c is y intercept where it is intersecting the magnitude plot so c is y intercept i hope you are getting m and this small m is slope and this x is log of some frequency plus c so we will make use of this so at omega this one observe here at omega c2 equal to 1 radians per second at omega c2 equal to 1 radians per second what is magnitude magnitude is 32 db right at omega c what is magnitude it is 32 db m is 32 db m is equal to 32 db so we will make use of this equation m this is m for m magnitude right so m is equal to 32 db what is that what is the slope we will find out you can observe here what is the slope at 32 db it is 0 db per decade right at 32 db it is 0 db per decade here right so this one slope is 0 db per decade so slope is 0 right so let me write it slope is 0 means 0 into x so this is 0 plus c i hope you are getting then y intercept c is 32 db 32 db is it fine i hope you are getting what i am making use of this straight line equation then i hope you are getting right y intercept c is 32 db next i will shift my frequency here at omega c1 equal to 0 0.5 what is the magnitude i will calculate let me, let me calculate magnitude here let me take change the ink color so what is the magnitude here i don't know let me calculate here right what is the magnitude so it should be less than 22 so i don't know we'll find out right at omega c1 equal to 0 0.5 what I am doing where I was yes at omega c1 equal to 0.5 radians per second what is magnitude we don't know what is magnitude we don't know right we have to calculate but we know that what is the slope at 0.5 we can hear you can observe at 0.5 what is the slope this will take after right after it is plus 20 db per decade right Yes or no, right? Plus 20 dB per decade is the slope. So, I will write the slope is 20 dB per decade. What is the frequency? Log of omega. Omega is nothing but your omega C1. So, log of 0 0.5. And y intercepts is plus C. From previous I will take 32. Is it fine? So, we will calculate the magnitude. What is the magnitude? So, calculate it. 20 log of 0 0.5 plus 32. So, we will calculate this. 20 log of 0 0.5 plus 32 so i am getting 25.97 so i will round round it 25.97 is nothing but 26 so i am getting 26 db here here 26 db i hope you are getting right yes fine then next at omega before we will take this we have taken at omega once again i will take at this point only at omega c1 equal to 0.5 radians per second i am changing the color just for making difference at omega c1 equal to point once again we will take this magnitude we came to know what is magnitude we calculated 26 db this we came to know that is equal to mx plus c what is the slope so we have taken this one next we will take this one previous previous to omega c1 the slope is 40 db per decade this we have taken already this before and after after we have taken before we will take 40 db per decade so slope is 40 db per decade what is the frequency log of omega frequency is 0.5 log of 0.5 then what is the y intercept we don't know we will calculate this i hope you are getting all right so if I take this 40 dB, what will happen? It will intersect the magnitude plot here. So I want Y intercept, right? That itself is the magnitude, right? I hope you are getting. So we'll find out C here. So 26 minus 40 log of 0.5 will give me C. 
which implies c is equal to what? We will calculate 26 minus open bracket 40 log of 0.5 close bracket. So I am getting 38 point 38.041 dB. I hope you are getting. So this is the y intercept. So it will intercept at 38 point something. It should be more than 32 means 38 we are getting it is correct. Right. So we will find try to find out the magnitude here once again here what is the magnitude right we will take once again at uh, omega c2 equal to 1 what is the magnitude right i hope you are getting at omega c1 after and before we have found out y intercept here this is the y intercept 38 db no need to find out magnitude directly if it is y intercept is 32 means it has to be 32 only directly we will take the magnitude here 30 38.04 db but if i want to find out uh, the y intercept for this so at omega c2 equal to 1 radians per second what is the magnitude just we don't know let us calculate the magnitude here this one so once again i will take this at omega c2 no need to take but let me take at omega c2 already i have taken once again i am taking observe here 1 radians per second what is the magnitude we don't know what is the slope what is the slope here if i take this line right I hope you are getting it is intercepting here the earlier I had taken this that now I will be taking this so it is plus 40 dB per decade log of what is this uh, omega it is 1 radians per second because omega is 1 plus what is y intercept this is 38 so 38.04 dB so log 1 is 0 this 40 log this vanishes so magnitude I am getting it as 38 point it is same as y intercept 38 point 04 db i hope you are getting this no need to do this step directly i can say see you see y intercept is this much means magnitude has to be this much if i want to prove it i can do it right 38.04 db now i want to find out k so 20 log k is equal to what see at omega equal to 1 it is a straight line of slope minus 40 plus 40 db per decade at omega equal to 1 here right my omega equal to 1 is here so what is the corresponding magnitude here we have found out it is 38 point something we have found out so 20 log k equal to 38.04 so find out k so one minute we will do step by step log k is equal to 38.04 by 20 38.04 divided by 20 so I am getting 1.38.04 divided by 20 I am getting it as 1.902 so base is 10 so which implies k is equal to 10 to the power of 1.902 so we will do this 10 to the power of 1.902 so I am getting it as 79 point k is equal to 79 point 799 okay we have found out everything now next we will write the transfer function what is k? okay i'll take some other ink okay k is what 79.79 so k will come in the numerator 79.79 this will come in the so divided by so transfer function is equal to let me take some other color only right uh, this is covered over next we will take this 1 divided by 1 plus 0.2 s so it will come in the denominator 1 plus 0.2s so this is over this we have taken next 1 plus s in the denominator 1 plus s so this is over next this also comes in denominator 1 plus 2s so this is also over all the three factors are over next yes 2 poles 1 by s square this will come in denominator 1 by s square so 1 by s square so s square let me write it here so this is the transfer function So transfer function is 79.79 divided by s square plus so you draw the magnitude plot you will get the same magnitude plot this one you will get the same magnitude plot for this transfer function i hope you are getting so let me verify the answer here so it is 17 oh, oh they are getting s square now here they are getting in the numerator yes i have done a mistake nobody has told no i it should come in numerator only no why can anyone tell see here what is the slope it is plus 40 no one minute See, nobody has told the mistake here. Slope is, I have reduced plus 40 because it is plus 40 no here. Plus 40 dB per decade. So it is plus 40. 
not minus so two poles are so not two poles two zeros so factor is s square it should come in the numerator because plus 40 db right plus 20 into 2 so s square it should come in the numerator not in the denominator so please be attentive so remaining three factors are coming down here you can check it yes it's correct right so this completes uh, uh, actually this completes the uh, Nyquist pl board plot but one more problem I will be taking tomorrow and I will wind up this chapter and I will go to the Nyquist plot I will stop recording here